Welcome to Sometime 5. Today we're working with page 4 and the lesson is called Perimeter and Area. First of all we need to talk about the word surface. The top of a table is a surface. A wall is a surface. The floor and ceiling of a room are two different surfaces. A box may have six surfaces, a top and a bottom and four sides. The size of a surface is called its area. Area is the size of a surface, what a surface covers. Look at this square. All four sides are an inch long, so if you add up the length of all the sides, you get four times one inches, or four inches. But this does not tell you how big the area of the square is. It only tells you how far it would be if you walked all the way round it. This is the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance round the outside of the square. Now look at this rectangle. If we want to find the length of the perimeter, we must add the length of each side. There are two long sides and two short sides. The long sides are 2 inches, so 2 times 2 is 4 and the short sides are one inch. One and one equals two. So the distance round the perimeter is four plus two, six inches. If you walk all around the outside of a square or rectangle, you walk a distance, the perimeter. Distance is not the same as area. Area is the size of a surface, what a surface covers. Let's look at these two figures. Each figure is divided into 16 squares. The square has 16 squares and the rectangle has 16 squares. If you walk around the outside of the square, you will walk 4 times 1 because each side is one. That's the distance you will walk, the perimeter. Now then, if you walk around the rectangle, the two long sides are two inches long and the two short sides are half an inch. So two times two is four and two times half is one. So the distance around the second figure is only 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. But the distance around the square was 4. The distance around the two figures is not the same, but the area is. Let's prove that. Count the number of squares in each one. There are 16 squares in each one. So the area the space the two figures cover is the same. The figures are the same size, the same area, even though the distance round one of them is longer than the distance around the other. So now I hope you understand the difference between distance around a figure, that's the perimeter, and the area that figure covers.